when you're decorating the perfect cake, there are some simple tools that you'll need to do the best job possible. And we're gonna go over those today. It looks like there are a ton of tools here, but you really, depending on the cake you're making, you may only need one or two. So let's go over the list. To start with the basics, I have here, this is called an offset spatula. It's a nice small one, perfect for really tiny cakes, cupcakes. It's just a great smoother of any type of frosting. Great tool to have. When you get into bigger cakes, you have a large offset spatula, also good for hitting people. It's a great tool to go around and smooth out your frosting. Really good to have. I like this one with a wooden handle, easy to hold, great to work with. For stirring frostings, for transferring frostings onto cakes, a rubber spatula. Can't live without it, great tool to have. I guarantee you'll use it every day, 25 times a day, for a million things. Moving along, when you get a little more complicated, if you really want a beautiful smooth finish all over your layer cake, a bench scraper is a really good way to go. This allows you to kind of work your cake in a circle and you could just smooth out those edges and make really clean lines. Even more complicated, not to scare you, when you get into fondant, rolling out fondant, you'll need to sift with a little bit of powdered sugar or cornstarch on your table and then you'll use a rolling pin to roll it out to about nice and thin, about an eighth of an inch. I like to use my French rolling pin, this is from my grandmother, but you can use the kind with the handles, is great too, whatever you're most comfortable with. Last but not least, a fondant smoother, similar to the bench scraper, this will smooth out your fondant the quickest and best way possible. If you try to use your hands, a lot of times you'll get fingerprints, it'll kind of heat through the fondant a little bit, it'll start to get too warm. So this is a great tool. Just dust it with a little bit of confectioner sugar so it won't stick. And just push it all over your cake and all the way around. Really nice, smooth surface. Last one, piping bags. These are disposable piping bags. So you can also buy the kind that are not disposable, but I like these because I can make a mess and I can just get rid of them. Ultimate laziness. Piping tips. There are a few different kinds, and what these do is they go right into the bottom of the bag, you snip off the top, and you can pipe all sorts of different shapes, whether it's stars, beading, lines, anything you need to do for a gorgeous cake every time. So those are some of the tools you'll need when decorating a perfect cake.